So here is how to create a landing page with Canva. It's pretty easy to do and you can follow along with me right now. So the first thing what we want to do is if we're on our home page when it comes to the dashboard, we're going to go right here and simply type in landing page template. All right now that I have typed that in there, let's simply click on enter. And what's going to happen here is we're going to get a wide variety of templates that we can use. So there's so many things that you can do with a landing page. You know, a lot of times what you can do is say collect emails. For this one, what I'm going to be doing is saying you have something to offer, something to promote where it's going to be a product. I like doing landing pages where I have a headline, I have a video, and I have a button. It's just my favorite way of doing it simply for the fact that I like creating videos and I don't have to write all that much on that landing page. With that in mind, you can go to filters right here and I'd recommend you do that. Look for something that's maybe going to be a little bit more your style. For me in landing pages, I love minimalist. I love simple. I love clean. So I'm going to click on that and click apply. And regardless of which landing page you choose, you can always change it around based upon what you're going to be doing. So something like this looks great. What I also like is that if you click on, say, a template like this, and maybe you don't want this one, you want something similar, you'll notice that if you look down below, there's going to be plenty of others that we can utilize. In fact, a few times what I've done is pick one, and then from then on out, inside the actual builder, I found others that I wanted to use as well. So I'm going to actually go with this one. So I'm going to click here. You'll notice that it brings this up like this one's really great. I love the minimalist aspect of it, but I'm going to go with this here and then do customize this template. All right. And if you'll notice, once we come here, there's going to be some other templates that we can utilize if you want. So maybe you happen to see something else that catches your eye. You could simply click on it and of course use that. So what we're going to do here in case you want to add an image, you can always do that. So there's going to be three things on this and only three things. And that's, you know, pretty good if you ask me. So we're going to have our top headline here. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that we have more room for a video. Okay, we're going to have our button, which is going to be the call to action. We can use text right here a little bit more if you want. I'm actually going to center this. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to leave that down there in case we want to add it. So what I want to do here is go to apps because I'm going to be adding YouTube. So let's go to YouTube, search for YouTube. All right. If you don't already have it, it's just going to simply ask you to open it up. But I'm just going to search for one of my videos and I'm going to add it in. All right. So I have Canva review. There I am. I'm going to click on that. And if you notice, it's going to appear right in the middle. It should be the middle, right? If we move it a little bit. Uh, let's see. Don't want to get too OCD with it, but I think that looks there we go. Perfect. So. We have this up top is going to be our headline so we can say something like is canva worth it so let's say i was sending out an email and i was sending like to my review this could be a landing page that i would be sending to the good thing about this you might say well james why don't you just send it to youtube well a lot of times youtube has so many distractions have you seen youtube lately if you take a look at the right the top the bottom the left wherever it's going to be there's ads here there's more recommended youtube is so good at knowing what you want because it obviously optimizes based upon the specific type of videos that you want so it's so very easy for you to get distracted that can be a good reason why you might want to just say send to a landing page with a video there so we can use this text here and I'm actually going to do that so I'm going to move this down a little make it a little bit smaller I think that looks fine and we could do like watch the video below to find out okay I like doing a little italicize just a little style thing okay and I think this could probably be a little bit better perfect now that we know the size of that we can probably make this a little bit bigger great and this thing is going to be our call to action. We don't want it to say grab a copy, but what we can also do is just make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to click. So let's do click here to try Canva. All right. So there's one more main thing that we want to do here. What I'm going to do is click on the button right here. I'm going to go to these three dots. And from here, I simply click on the link right here, or you can do control plus K. What I'm going to do is just add in Canva. I already have it pasted in there should be HTTPS and let's do done. And just like that, you're going to notice that it gets underlined. That means it's now a link. And just like that, we have a very simple landing page. Okay. Let me kind of reiterate why this is very beneficial. So instead of actually sending a YouTube, which you can, if you want, but obviously this is going to be for a landing page. We have our headline here could be something a little bit better, you know, like see some of the biggest reasons why I like Canva. That's our main headline. Okay. This is going to be a little bit extra, you know, find out to see some of the pros and cons. That's something else you can put there. Of course, the main goal here is to watch this video. And of course, if they want to check it out, this is going to be the button here where it's linked. 
Very simple, very straightforward. That's how I like doing my landing pages, regardless of what software or tool that's gonna be used. If you've seen my other videos when it comes to landing pages, it's pretty much going to be very similar. The software is just gonna change, right? But the process remains the same. Here we can also preview it if you like. Let's click on preview here. So this is going to be the desktop. Looks pretty good. If we hover over this, you'll see at the bottom left right here, it just goes to Canva. That's perfect. That's where we want it to go. And with the mobile here, we're gonna have a little bit in the middle. If we do resize, I think it's gonna make it a little bit smaller. So I, I would probably, yeah, definitely keep with the uh, resize right there. And that's gonna be that. So all we need to do here is simply click on publish website. Okay, I already have a website URL in terms of like this right here. So this I would just do like slash Canva. So it's gonna be this, this is what it's gonna be looking like. Okay, so let's click on publish website. All right, and our website is now live, pretty cool. And of course, let's go to view website here. And just like that, we have our very simple landing page, our headline, a little bit extra, the video, and of course the button with a call to action where they can go ahead and try Canva. Pretty simple stuff, right? And of course, if there's some aesthetics, you know, stuff that you wanna change around it, you certainly can do. Let's do edit design. Like if you click back right here, this is gonna be the color. So you could always do, I don't think that looks too good with the, uh, there, that doesn't look good as well. Let's go actually go to red, probably just white or gray, right? Something like that. I think that looks fine. So I'd probably not use the green. I think it's a little bit too much, but that looks much better. Of course, you can always just publish it. And let's do that. Great, and let's just view it now that we have the final outcome with the different color. So that's gonna be the tutorial when it comes to how to create a landing page with Canva. It's pretty simple stuff, and when it comes to a lot of tutorials with Canva, I've noticed that the easier way to make this work is to find a template that's going to be similar to what you wanna use, and then just edit it around. That's always gonna save you some time, as opposed to going with something completely complex and having to change around too many things. I think that just wastes a good amount of time doing that. So find a template that you vibe with change around make some edits know what you want out of it and you should be good to go if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below when it comes to creating your landing pages with canva my name is james thank you so much for watching as always and i'll see you in my next video